Apostolic Intention, led by Richard De Vinci. Yeah. Come and join me now. Join me here for the tour, ladies and gentlemen. Tour will begin any minute. Anybody else for the tour? Okay, let's go. Let's go on the tour. Health and safety. Well, I'm going outside now. My name is Richard Dodo Menichin and I've been asked here today to speak to you about the, uh, the new architecture of the State Light and how that it might influence the surrounding area, including uh, Museum Pline, which is where we will go to first. So if you'd like to follow me. Tajin, <laughs> in the past month, have invented a new kind of plastic that emits a blue light when it detects radiation. But sadly, it's too late to incorporate this new material into the state like extension. So um, if you see it glowing blue, it's not because of radiation. <laughs> <laughs> whether or not their design has any uh, drawbacks. And they said the following, um, the building doesn't have a rear. And that's the problem because every building needs an entrance to let goods vehicles come and go without interfering with visitor traffic. We did ship on and found good ways of managing the aspect there. Here we have been less successful. That was a quote from two years ago. Since then, we've come up with an innovative solution uh, to solve the delivery problem at the new uh, state line. So if you'd like to follow me uh, into this building here. Yeah. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the bakery section, and this wall here uh, will be demolished. <laughs> this will enable the passageway to be built straight into the new basic galleries <laughs> of the stage line. Sorry? Um, and this will allow to film in the supermarket. Okay. Oh, yeah? No, no yeah. pictures, no pictures, please. This will allow visitors to the stage line to exit through the supermarket and also for deliveries to the stage line to be bought through the supermarket, therefore solving the problems that we just discussed. And this is the basement of Albert Hine, and so it will go straight through here like that. <laughs> it's at the same grade. <laughs> quite a simple operation. This is stage one of the new Museum Pline Master Plan. It's called the Museum Master Plan Pline. That's the name of the Master Plan. If you follow me now, it's the dairy section. Um, I'm going to show you another uh, piece of synergy that has been made possible through this new partnership. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, this one has been designed to mimic the appearance of the new uh, like extension. <laughs> it works quite well, you can see, it's quite nice. And this is part of a larger sponsorship deal uh, between De uh, Zanza Hover, De Zanza Hover, and the nickname of the Stable Like extension is The Bath Tub. Um, as of next year, as part of the sponsorship, it will be renamed the uh, the Quark Tub. <laughs> and they will also release a special state-alike flavour of, uh, of Quark. They, I don't know what that will taste like, but um, hopefully it will be very nice. If you'd like to follow me. be renaming themselves Bentham Crowell Quarkutets. As you know, the uh, North-South Amsterdam subway line is currently under construction. One of the reasons for the construction delays is that uh, there's been a realignment of some of the tunnelling. Can you see that? Can we pass that round? So they have constructed a new loop from the main line which will come to a new station which is where we're standing. <laughs> this will be the new concourse. This will allow um, passengers to go straight into the supermarket and into the state light without having to go above ground and also allow deliveries for the gallery and the supermarket to come via the new train system. That will uh, reduce the amount of lorries to have to use the roads above ground. If you'd like to follow me this way. This is, uh, this is Kew Park. This 
will also be renamed Q Quark. Q Quark. We're going to head over this direction onto the fly. So here we are on the museum flight. I, I stole this earlier, and it, it's interesting if you, uh, where is the photographer? if you hold it at the right angle, it looks almost as if the extension has been completed. Madam, this will look like you're from the future. Does that look? Does that look accurate? This is great. This is like we're in 2012. It's a little bit hard to tell the difference. Well, maybe 2013. But hopefully, hopefully 2012. That's nice. If anyone else would like to have their picture taken. I'd just like to tell you a little bit about the history of where we're standing. Museum Pline in 1928. This is a plan by Cornelius van Easteren in 1947 to build a, a motorway down the middle of Museum Pline. That was actually constructed in 1952. You can see it there. It was referred to as um, the Netherlands' shortest motorway. It was inspired by Stockholm which had uh, lots of uh, modernist urban planning in the 1950s. They redeveloped the uh, line in the 90s, um, thanks to Sven Ingmar Andersen, the Swedish landscape architect, including this line of light. It lights up at the night time, but um, the budget was quite small, so they had to reduce the scale of it. So the challenge for stage three of the museum master Pline plan is to try and combine the, the beauty of um, the line of light from the 90s with the kind of uh, utilitarian functionality of the, uh, the motorway from the 50s and we think we've achieved it uh, with this line of tarmac which will run along the same orientation as the line of light but this isn't a uh, motorway this is a, a runway for short takeoff and landing aircraft it's modeled on uh, london city airport so there's a model of the model there are landing strips like this around the world they're quite popular in norway there's a proposal for one in Paris that wasn't built. They said that would uh, be ridiculous. So this is the runway, 750 metres it would be. So airplanes would come in from the north over the historic town centre and land where we're standing. In many ways, the line of light would uh, remain lit at night time, obviously, the runway. And also the approach lights, which would be installed across central Amsterdam, would also light up 24 hours a day. This is a Dash 7 aircraft, the type that can land on such a short runway takes about 50 people. Uh, it has a range of 700 miles, so it could get as far as Barcelona, Rome, Warsaw and Stockholm. The planes would taxi off the runway and park on the northern end of the new extension. The supermarket building that you can see here, it's called the, uh, the Donkey Ear, and this may eventually be demolished. It will have two entrances from the new underground stations, allowing a uh, series of jetways to be um, installed. This will be the uh, embarkation, the security area. Um, and the bookshop will be relocated to underground in the supermarket. Now, in 1982, when the London City Airport was planned um, to convince people that um, we could really land the planes in such a small place, um, they had a test. It was just a grassy field and the public came. And uh, so that's what we've got planned this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In about five minutes, a small plane should be approaching from the north. Whilst we're waiting, I've got some stickers to hand out to you. If you'd all like to put one of these on, they're like Facebook like buttons. And Facebook are hoping to put these buttons on every page of the Stay Like website. I'm gonna sing you a little song by the Scandinavian singer. He's from Stockholm, I think. Eagle Eye Cherry. Do you know Eagle Eye Cherry? Do you know his most famous song? I've carefully rewritten the song. I've just changed one word, really. Keep looking, keep looking for the plane. Madam? You hold that. When you see the plane, I want you to wait. <laughs> Go on and close the curtains. And it burns like me for you. Can you see it? Yeah. It ain't easy to say goodbye. Darling, please don't start to cry. Because girl, I know you know I've got to go. And Lord, I wish it wasn't so. Everybody, say the like. Fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be gone. I told the pilot if he can't land here for any reason to uh, divert to the, uh, the bundle park. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been an anticlimactic ending to what was supposed to be a spectacular tour. Um, I apologise, but thank you very much for coming. I hope you've learned something about what will be happening here in the next uh, 30 years, maybe. Um, I've been Richard Leno Medici, and uh, thank you for having me. Good night.